everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Scorpio's new love reading for June 2021. In this message, we're first going to tap into the energies with traditional deck here. And in this message, Scorpio, we're going to look into how your person is feeling about this connection. How they're thinking about this connection are you too compatible the challenges that may come up is this a soul tie connection and where this is all headed the outcome pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward if that's something you guys are interested in you're more than welcome in joining us so let's see here scorpio what we can see for you guys most important message here for scorpio spirit what does scorpio need to see for the month of june 2021 please and thank you most important message here for scorpio spirit what does scorpio need to see underlying energy here the seven of wands tells me there's a blockage to this connection somebody wants to come forward and tell you how they feel Scorpio but I feel here there's a fear um, afraid of how you'll react afraid of being disregarded or rejected so let's see here let's dive a little bit deeper into the energies okay please keep in mind guys that the message is here on youtuber general they're not going to resonate every time with every person it's really about the title if there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message for you information on energy cleanse kits personal readings extended versions it's all linked below in the description box and scorpio if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here. And it does help to set intentions for future messages. Okay, so Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. How they're thinking about this connection. Five of Wands. Okay, we're going to clarify all of this energy here in a minute. Let me straighten these cards out for you. The Five of Wands is an energy of being or feeling conflicted. It's also an energy of competition. That also plays into the energy of a, a fear, you know. I feel here there's, maybe they, they view this as there's, you have a lot of options. And that may be why they're afraid that you're going to reject them. Maybe they aren't confident in themselves or honestly, this is feeling like a person who you may have had a disconnect with at one point in time, whether this was a friend or a past person. I hate, I hate to say it. I feel like the past is coming back. The past is trying to be resurrected here, Scorpio. That's what I see. Okay. Mercury retrograde can do that to us. I'm going to start by clarifying the four of the swords with the seven of wands. How they feel about this connection. I feel like they want to bring in balance. They want to find a balance. The star card. They may also want to apologize. Heal the connection. But I feel here there's a fear of being rejected. I also feel here, Scorpio, they view you as having a lot of options too. That could be why they're holding back. Okay. But I feel here that this, them holding back is, is a heavy energy for them to handle. I feel like within the month of June here, Scorpio, maybe going into July, this person may come forward and express to you how they feel. I also feel that they're going to 
maybe they're going to want to take things to the next level or um, see where things can go with you. But I do feel here an energy, um, Scorpio, of resistance. I don't feel like this is something that you want to entertain, to be honest with you. And I feel like um, you're already in a position of moving forward. Okay. The Hierophant in reverse, the Four of Swords. This is clarifying the Five of Wands. There was some sort of disconnect here in the past, okay? And I feel here, Scorpio, that um, they may feel like it was partially their fault. There's an energy of maybe... They messed up or they had caused something to cause this disconnect between the two of you. Maybe they're the one that's, that initiated that. They're wanting to come and make things right. But I feel here, Scorpio, you've already moved forward. You're already healing without this person. For some of you, this person isn't fully going to come forward. Okay, they're going to test the waters, if you will. See how things are going to play out. I also feel here, Scorpio, that this is, you're just, you may not even respond to this person, to be honest with you. They come back because I feel here that this is an energy of enough is enough. This may be a cycle that's continued for a while and just not really wanting to continue anymore. The moon with the seven of wands is clarifying the three of cups. This is in the position of, are you compatible? At one point, I feel like there was a very strong connection here, but you guys grew apart through the process. The challenge is, Scorpio, is you're not interested in this anymore, okay? And I feel here that your person can sense that. However, I feel here that they're this energy of them wanting to express how they feel is going to overpower that fear. So be prepared for that. I also feel here, Scorpio, that trusting your intuition is going to be important. So if you feel like this, you need to take a step back from this person, you need to disconnect from this connection. That's exactly what you need to do. You need to trust that. Eight of cups with the wheel of fortune with the challenges you've already started walking away you've already started healing focus on what's best for you okay focus on your own stability again trusting your intuition is going to be important here because if this has caused too much pain too much heartache then there's always going to be that um that resentment energy until this pain is fully healed. The outcome here being the Eight of Cups, I don't really feel like this is, yeah, no longer waiting. The Hanged Man is in the reverse with the Two of Pentacles. So, ready to move forward. I also feel here that you kind of guarded, you kind of mm, have your wall up to this person. And that's understandable because it feels here that there has been a lot of water under the bridge, in a sense. Um, a lot of pain has been inflicted between the two of you, okay? I definitely feel an energy of this is back and forth. So, Scorpio, your advice guidance moving forward for this message if you found this message has been helpful that it's resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth of the channel getting the message out there so thank you guys so much for that you are all amazing 
I'm also going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we'll dig a little bit deeper into how to prepare for this union, if that is something you're interested in, which I honestly don't feel, but that may resonate for some of you. If it is in the extended, we will look into how to prepare, what each of your blockages are, the advice guidance moving forward, and the outcome if the advice is followed. Again, the extended versions are all linked below. Scorpio, your advice guidance moving forward. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Hermit. So, withholding your energy and healing this resentment factor, looking at the situation very practically is going to help with that. Also, taking this time to go within and gain that internal clarity you know, put a, put a name to those feelings. Okay. Question the triggers, all of the things that I always talk about in this video. The hermit energy is one of the many phases of self-discovery. Honestly, tarot, that's part of the fool's journey is learning about oneself. Okay. Take this time to go within and to get redirected on your path. Okay, it's not going to take long. All you have to do is recalibrate your energy. Once that happens, it, you're going to shoot forward like a rocket. Okay, but you're, you're being called to clear your space, clear your energy, and just rebalance, recenter, and refocus. Let's get a soul journey message out. Sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Your soul is open to receiving new wisdom and insights that will allow it to make the right choice for its own growth. Remember that you're never a victim of other people or their circumstances. You have complete control over your own choices. By following your heart and being authentic to yourself, you present the real you to the world. Make decisions based Making decisions based on other people's expectations is not the true path to happiness. You're responsible for creating your own reality. When a soul shifts to a place of honoring itself and its totality, only then will it find its true freedom. Every soul is unique and will follow its path. Don't give in to peer pressure or the urge to fit in. You're the only one who truly knows the real you, so feel free to march to the beat of your own drum. Scorpio. This person may have been bogging you down. There's definitely heavy energy surrounding this connection, okay? If you feel in your heart and soul that it's time to free yourself from this connection, distance yourself from this person, that's okay. People grow apart. You're needing here right now to go within, recalibrate your energy. Four Truths message, Scorpio, is... Always do your best. Stay in the present moment. Keep your attention on today and stay in the present moment. This is the beginning of a new understanding, a new dream. Stay in the present moment. Beautiful, beautiful. So Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon.
Namaste.